okay welcome back to the channel today we are going to shoot let's call it a split light that sounds cool yeah as you've seen in the thumbnail there is so-called hard light and soft light at the same time in the same image with only one flash how is this possible you might wonder can we skip this hard and soft light for the moment you know i understand this is the terms that are used out there but i like to simplify it even more there are only two lights in the world and there are only two things in the world to shoot small light and big light shiny stuff matte stuff there is nothing else out there only four things you need to learn and today we are shooting matte and shiny stuff let's start okay let's start with some coffee and then let's start with taking uh, the first shot you don't want to have a blue screen on your computer but today you do because the blue indicates that there is black pitch black it's pitch black that's what it indicates and that's good and let's turn on this flash you see the the c stand leg over there i have a profile the d2 i place it as far away as possible you should always place it you know my ceiling is not high here in this office you know it's not meant for shooting really so you need to have it you should place it as high up as possible that the power of the flash allows and why do i place it up there yes because i want to have a hard light no yes but i want to have a small light small light source the light source is like something like this it's very small so that's good because then we will have very sharp edges of the shadows and that's what we want today so let's turn the flash on and as you see here the uh, savage medium let's put this to the side and let's start with the bare flash up there maybe i should show you it's up there and then it goes it's pointing down on the stuff that we are shooting. The setup I made here. Very simple. Just a few uh, foam boards and a golden, uh, plastic golden mirror material. All you can find in your local craft store. Okay. I will take a shot. What do we get? As you can see on the, on the shadow edges, they are very sharp because the flash is small. I've seen this a lot. It's very trendy now, I think, uh, in the when you're shooting makeup and stuff. It's a combination small light source and big light source, hard and soft light. Coffee machine. We have the, all the matte surfaces, like the lipstick itself, sticking out. It's matte, and I see now the makeup thing on the left. It's, it's looking kind of nice, the golden top, because I didn't push this away enough. So it gets soft light and hard light, small, big light source. Uh, and you can so, see all the, the gray foam boards, they are matte, so they can handle the small light source. But all the shiny stuff looks not that nice. If I pull this diffusion back the center of the flash is pointed at the products but we will we will get the sharp edges because the small light will hit the products but you know i didn't i don't control the light with the reflector or something that we usually do so it spreads out and it spreads all over this equipment and it spreads out all over this and thanks to my angle thanks to the camera angle thanks to thank you camera angle you're so nice 
thanks to the angle of the where I place the camera, you know, everything that is lit up at the same angle, probably in the middle of this uh, diffusion, that will hit the flash will hit this, and that will be picked up on the products. Are you with me? Are, are you, is it totally confusing? I will take a shot now, and suddenly we get this nice shot. This diffusion, if you see the this golden and all this, this got this already, but suddenly this diffusion that is lit up and placed in the correct angle, uh, the mirror will be lit up and all this will be lit up. So this is kind of nice, I think. And we have this sharp edge and the edge here and the edge from the this and this, everything. All the cast shadows will be sharp because we are not covering the products totally with the diffusion. We get both diffusion and small light, small and big light, sharp edges, all the shiny materials will look nice thanks to the diffusion. I hope this is not confusing. That's the reason why I only used one flash. You can achieve a better result if you're using more than one flash. Um, that you, you will have one flash that takes care of the, the sharp edges and then you can control it with a, another flash for the big soft light and then you can make gradients and stuff. But today we're only using one flash so it's maybe it's a bit more clear. Now when I look at it, you know, I'm so tired of these gray uh, surfaces. So I wish I had some nice, maybe pinkish, like the one of the lipsticks that we ha had two different pink papers. So it will, so it will pop out a bit more. Maybe I will fake it in Photoshop and I will color the, the gray areas so the thumbnail will pop out you know on youtube it's all about the thumbnail i'm wondering what will happen if i what will happen if we holding um uh, i would do something like this you know color the gray now i'm just holding this yellow random i wish i had some i would like to have my next thing to buy will be if there if it exists i would like to have like big variety of uh, gels but not this super yellow you know like uh, i would like like the lipstick pinkish very subtle pinkish tone or something and blue and all these colors i hope does it exist to buy sheets maybe a bit bigger you see on you see the the edges of uh, the lower part of the perfumes what you can do just let me show you one thing look at the up at the left there on the top left thing you know now it's dark and a bit gradient from the from the top when using this black now for example you see the top is black suddenly and it uh, depends on what you want. If I put this uh, black sheet on the right side, suddenly reflection, I'm reflecting the black board is reflecting into the, the lipsticks. Okay, there you have it guys. And I would like to thank the coffee supporters make sure I have some coffee in the studio. Thank you so much. And also, of course, thanks for becoming a member at my website, botvidson.se. And uh, if you're not subscribing here on YouTube, down there, you know, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you find it useful. And as always, see you next time.